Have you ever wondered what if villagers could do redstone? Well, if you have, this is the video for you. Um, another YouTuber called Bumbo Jumbo, if you somehow have not heard of him, he's like one of the best uh, people at redstone in Minecraft. So, um, he made a video like this, and I would like to do it, but with my own contraptions. So, the first contraption I was thinking of is kind of like a... sorting system for the villagers or well, not sorting system but like storage system and I have to just blend it in which should be pretty easy that someone saying this he was very bad at building but I'm gonna try. Uh, this looks like a good place to start. So, I'll just basically just start by doing this. And I think what you do is like you take a comparator. I don't have to move this back, aren't I? Um, basically, what I think you do is you take chests, put comparators behind them, and you make them so they bring up a redstone signal. So, and it will, like, bring up a little redstone signal type thing. A pretty simple design. I think it's simple to me. This works. Then I just have to copy that on this side. So I have to go like boop, boop, and boop. All right, just like this. Comparator, comparator, come, oh wait, there's a leaf block there. Alright. Repeater, repeater, repeater. And I will talk to you when it's done. Hello. So, I am now done with the building. As you can see, it looks pretty ugly. But I use the materials of like a normal Taiga village. So we come inside and I have memes and rick rolls in this barrel, ores in this barrel, redstone in this barrel, shields, weapons, and armor. Now it's stone, food, and wood. Same thing for this. And now you can see this is lit up so it has items in it. If I go over to the stone and put this item in it, this will light up. So, 
that's the workings uh, storage system pretty small one but it works complete next one I was thinking of of like all of these are basically just the same layout you walk in chest crafting table some seats in a bed but I was thinking I for the next build I'm gonna make a redstone house so yep I'll let you know once I find a location for that okay so I have found a bigger house it has a little pit leading into a big cave in the front of it but we can just ignore that so we come in what I was thinking is I want to keep this librarian's house pretty much the same except I want to make it so you can just click a button and then this these stairs will be trapped and using the cave I should hopefully be able to easily make that happen and not have to clear out a big space so to start this I'm gonna need a piston so I'm pretty bad at redstone so I'm just gonna bring this over here grab the door and bring that along over here boop and boop like that and then this will just be blocked off so the redstone line will lead down into here underground but it's not like it's going to be like super secret like it's going to be like this is the secretest room in the house it's just going to be that's all there's going to be So if the button is going to be right there, I'll place redstone and then bring it over here and then just keep lining it up. Maybe add a redstone repeater and this should work. Yep. Now what I need to do is replace this and just add redstone torch right there so then it's always locked so then you can still access it until you click this button and it will reveal so Luna hold on so then there'll be um, thinking a ladder this floor and if I click this button yeah so that opens that up so just enough time for you to get through and then there'll be another ladder now I'm gonna need a torch and I think I'm going to see you guys when I'm done building this.
Okay, so I have found a house. And I've also done a bunch of other things. But all of the stuff is gone because my sister decided to scream and cry through the entire process and you couldn't hear anything I was saying. At all. So I'll just walk you through what I have done. I made this house smaller. I made it so when you stand on the stair block, click that button, push it down. That's exactly what that button does do. You come down here, down the stairs. There's a lever that opens up your bedroom. And then this lever reveals the fireplace. And then I was working on this part. So I guess we'll just start at this part. So... Just like this. Place block. Dig down. Just like this. Place down some peters and some redstone. Same thing for up here. Oh, what happened is this. Perfect. I did nothing. Definitely nothing at all. Pop and bop, bop, bop. now this should work normally if I activated this so I'm going to place a lever here put a piece of redstone there patch this Back up. Perfect. Now all I need to do is put some stairs right there. Alright. I'm just going to add a little torch right there. So now armor stand thingy and I just mess this thing up. It is. So I'll also get some netherite armor to fit on these. Villagers, bedroom, fireplace, and armor read thingy mabobber. But there's an extra wall missing. 
And what I am going to do here is a fish tank. Nope, no redstone involved at all. Besides a little bit. Just a replenishing system in case your fish uh, dies. right here I'll get some sand it would be right here and I'll put down some dispensers grab some tropical fish spawn eggs place these down and this is just going to be really simple you have a lever you've got fish You've got things. That's exactly that's the best way to ever explain it. If anyone asks you how to explain something, just say that. So I'll just use the redstone line right here. Does this work? Yes it does. I can just fill this up and fill this up. So that's the sand. Then I have to put the water in, which I will do from above. I don't want all of my stuff to get wrecked in the water. So I'll get the glass. Right there. Place in all the water. Put in some little fishies. Then they'll swim around and stuff. Down there. Well, yeah. All right. So this is the redstone mansion. Well, not mansion house then. So I think it's time to go on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is quite simple. And it will be the last one because I am running out of time. Let me just add a sticky piston. Add an observer. And an observer. Oh, 
water. There's no food in here. What? Who's coming to me? Find it. Okay. Does this work? Yes, it does. So I'm just gonna build more of these because why not this is to improve villagers and this will definitely 100% improve them they need a better system than just ringing one bell once. Like, how do you even know the villagers are going to hear that? You don't. So, what I'm gonna do is place a lever. And now, the last two bells. I can it up. So now, every villager should know. Alright, that is the end of this video, and goodbye!